Hello and welcome to the Brick King. Today I'll be reviewing two sets of, from the Power Miners range. These sets both came from 2008. First, let's take a look at the figures. This is just a generic Power Miner, but all Power Miners have different faces. And both of them have two, have an alternate face. This one has a happy going along face and a terrified face. I don't like the look of the mouth in that face. I don't really like that face personally, and it ha and he has a belt with a with a shiny cross bit on it, some some shiny chain there, and a f what looks but supposed to look like a flashlight, also some dirt. He has a vest on underneath some overalls, which have some pockets and a picture of a drill on the back, another drill around a star. He has, the, all of these figures from 2008 have blue helmets, the ones from 2009 had silver. And that's another look at the alternate face from the front. Doesn't look, doesn't look that good. Now, let's look at the other figure. This person has a white shirt on underneath their overalls which has a scientific symbol. A pencil, another pencil, I believe they're supposed to be pencils and the same symbol behind that star symbol and yeah, it's the same trousers same hat but it has this eye piece which is supposed to be electronic a grey moustache, a small mouth and an ordinary eye looks like it's supposed to be connected to that via glasses and here same as stars, just different mouths. Mouth. I don't, really don't like that. Those these mouths. Anyway, let's start to look at the rock monsters. These are the bad guys in these particular sets, and this is two sets, by the way. Um, the one in this guy came with this mech, and this guy came with this, and this rock monster came with this, and this particular rock monster came with this. So. This is a green rock monster from the 2008 range. There were orange ones and red ones, and different red ones in the 2009 range. It uh, consists of two parts: parts a mouthpiece which is connected to the main body by a hinge. It has movable arms which are clawed so it can hold on to bars and studs, and it, it all of them have crystals inside that they're supposed to eat. So it can hold on to it like that. Very nice. And the red one is almost exactly the same, just red. He can do everything the other one can. And well not much more to say about the rock monsters. Now let's move on to the or to these. This is the control area. Just enough room for a figure to sit and to Le levers for them to pull. There are two places to hold things where there's a TNT and a pickaxe. On this side is a is a claw hand where you can grab onto something like a rock monster and hold him there. Works pretty well, not very well. And on this side is a cutting thing to cut away rock because this is a mining because this is the mine mech. It it works by just twisting this. Its legs are pretty much ordinary. It uses the Technic ball system. And nothing more to say about this. There's a little orange light up here. And well, yeah. Now it's now it's for this. As you may have noticed that these both have numbers on them. This is one, this is two. All of the power miners sets have numbers. The, for instance, I own number one, number two, and number three, also number twelve. It has these spikes that are the same piece that was used for this. So when it moves forward it digs them into the ground. Very nice. It has a green block underneath and has some handlebars so a figure can hold on to them. Also some exhausts on the side which are pretty nice. And a wheel. And this is pretty much all I have to say for this set. As always like and subscribe to my videos 
and there will be more on the way.